I'm Julie Duell and this is Spotlight on Sparks. I'm really excited to introduce Allison McCormick, our new Assistant City Manager. Allison, welcome to the show. Thank you, Julie. I'm happy to be here. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Sure. Uh, I grew up in Spokane, Washington and met my husband at law school at the University of Oregon in Eugene. Uh, he is from this area, so that's how I ended up coming down here. Uh, I've been here for several years now and I uh, really love skiing, mountain biking, hiking, um, all the outdoor options that uh, this area is so rich with. So I, I love living here. And you have a couple of big dogs, I hear. Yes, yes, and they love all of those activities too. Well, that's great. Um, great place to do all those activities. And I know you've been with the City of Sparks for about four years, and you mentioned law school, so you were our assistant city attorney. So how has that prepared you to be assistant city manager? Yes, uh, the city attorney's office is a very lean department. Uh, we've got three assistant city attorneys in the civil division, uh, four including the elected city attorney, and and between the four of us, we serve every department in the city, um, including litigation. Um, so although each of the assistants has a primary responsibility for various departments, because we are so small, uh, each of the assistants at least gets involved somewhat with, with every other department at some point. Uh, so it's really taught me how the city works and what some of the issues facing the city and its various departments are. Well, I know just from a communication standpoint, whenever I would have questions or something, you guys were always so incredibly helpful, and you in particular, so I'm excited to work with you more directly as in your new role. Thank you. So I do um, want to ask too, um, as the new assistant city manager, what kind of initiatives do you think you're really going to be um, just excited about? One of the main things I'm excited about is working on our recruitment processes for employees, uh, improving those, streamlining those, and more importantly, trying to get a broader base of applicants so that uh, our applicant pool for various positions throughout the city is more diverse and more reflective of the city as a whole. Well, that sounds great. I know we talked a little bit um, recently at some council meetings about um, starting up a diversity um, committee too, so mm -hmm. that sounds like it falls right in line with what you're thinking. Absolutely. Too. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell us about yourself or you know, the job or anything like that? I'm just really excited to take on this new role and keep serving the city. Well, we're excited too, so thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate thank you. it. And my next guest is our new police chief, Chris Crawford. Welcome, Chief. Thank you for coming to the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. So exciting that you're our new police chief, and that's pretty exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, just so people would know a little bit more about you? Yeah, absolutely. I was born and raised in northern Nevada. I spent uh, most of my life in Sparks. Went to the elementary schools here, Reed High School, graduated from UNR, um, graduated with a wildlife bio biology, conservation biology degree. Moved to Arizona where I was a game warden for just shy of five years and came back in 2004 where I've been working for the Sparks Police Department uh, ever since. So I've been a field training officer, a detective, a sergeant, a lieutenant. I uh, was in our internal affairs section as well as our detective division as a supervisor. So kind of run through a bunch of things and then obviously most recently deputy chief and now chief. So. A lot of really great experience that you are continuing to bring to our police department. Yes, yeah, it's given me a good opportunity to see kind of all facets of our department. Great, that sounds great and that actually leads me to my next question because I know it's kind of tough right now. I mean times are really different and, and tough and I wondered maybe what some of the initiatives that you'd like to bring to the police department would be. Yeah, just uh, obviously with what's going on there's a lot of emotions out there and just balancing what's correct for our community and for our folks at our police department. Um, the real big thing we have right now is we have a lot of vacancies from some retirements, so filling that will be a big part um, and improving our involvement with the community, so doing a lot more outreach with community groups and just the community as a whole to make sure we're meeting the needs that they want us to see. And I know that's something that um, you, part of their mission and vision is really community outreach and to being a, a big part of the community and making yourself known and, and not only just policing but just engagement for community members. I know we have some great um, things in the police department. Do you want to talk about some of those? Sure. Yeah, one of uh, the big things that I is kind of a flagship right now is obviously the, the folks experiencing homelessness has become 
a big regional community issue. Um, we've put together a team, our, our HOPE team, our outreach team, to truly not take those enforcement actions unless necessary, but identify those who are in need that are experiencing homelessness and what resources that we can help them attain and maybe move on with the next step of their life that they need to. So we've had a lot of good positive results from that. Um, and, and I really identify that by the nonprofits and the community groups that really have joined us to be a part of that. So traditionally law enforcement kind of does their own thing and it's nice to have that bigger involvement and in those wanting to be part of that. I was just talking to one of the officers that's involved with the HOPE team and he was just telling me how many great things and how many services working with the advocates that you were just talking about that they've been able to offer to the homeless. It was just his, his passion for it was just really very cool to see. Absolutely, yeah. I know one of our guys is a uh, veteran and he's talked several times about helping some of the veterans out and getting them into even more resources through the VA and things of that. And they, those guys truly feel like they're making a difference and they're excited yeah. about it. Yeah. What other initiatives would you like to mention that you might be working with or, or good things that the police department's doing? Um, like I said, we're always doing really good stuff, just improving upon those, making sure we're hitting all the needs of the community members. Um, once we get back to some staffing and improving some of our uh, residential outreach, some of our parking problems that have increased a little bit in the last few years, uh, and some traffic safety, we're obviously a growing city, growing very fast, so yeah. with that comes more folks on the street, so we just need to balance that out and make sure everyone's getting where they need to safely. Well, that sounds great. Well, we're excited to have you as our new chief and excited to see some of the things that you're going to be bringing to the department because I know there's just some great things going on and we're very thankful for that. Yes, so. thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we're very happy to have introduced you to our new police chief and our new assistant city manager. And we'll also have this on a podcast. So thank you for joining.